I filled all the uh, reservoirs up now. If you look at the, the fryer heads, if you take these out, there's a low and a high point for the oil. We talk about uh, the heat retention, the thermal mass. The more oil you have, the more thermal mass you have, the more you can retain heat. So to make this a fair comparison, I filled each one up to the, the high point of thermal okay. mass. We use frozen fries for this test. We're going to put them in all three units. As soon as that end unit gets up to the heat in the show, the difference in the wattage and the thermal mass of the capacity of the fryer with the higher, higher wattage units. Yep, let's do our fry test. What do you guys want to give me a hand on that one, Rick? Yep. Okay, so just to verify, 350 right on the money. What's this one setting at? 350 right on the money. All one basket, Rick? Let's just pull these. Let's pull those up. We're done. Again, we're not, this isn't a cooking show. It's just to demonstrate. The idea I want you all to take away from this is that there's thermal mass. Excuse me, everybody. Thermal mass. We've got a, a 120 volt fryer. You can see it clearly cooks fries. It clearly does, it performs. It's not that it's underpowered, it doesn't perform. It's just you can't oversell it. You can't demand too much out of it. It certainly cooks. Effectively, here we did a nice order of fries, right, no problem. Our higher wattage unit is just going to be able to cook a few more fries. The recovery time on that unit was a little better. Didn't cycle on quite as fast, had a little more thermal mass. But still, again, nice fries. Lights off, yep, on this one, lights still on over there. And then our 2.5 kW unit again. 10 pound fryer, but a little bit higher wattage, same thermal mass than the 120, just higher wattage. We got three nice batches of fries, okay? They do the work.